restoration prayer minister bro kwazo onye gbasozi odina na igbo so he can call me an ordinary evangelist i will answer my mission is to help people live better life today no ga wa gezi oku isi oku ai no but ta is all you must know about slave trade early missionaries and igbo spirituality but i be fine ga ba ni ru okwa di mpa Eche funa na aja ye na achu kwa onwa kwa onwa kwa onwa julai kana gani ilu. Nde ye na sonye lo na aja ge mwa ta iyo nyo nyo nchiko ta ya na obo si ipa azu nkwe onwa kwa onwa julai. Eche funa na na nde mwa de ebu uku bego maka nke onwa august. Obo nde chwa diso na nke onwa august. Ige ebu uku before end of this july. Maka nwa ge ebido kwa na first of august. Nina so na ya wa aja ma ko ke si emi ma na maka bu gimo onyo fu a aja mbu ni enu aja ikutu ihe aja si goro ni apu ni ototo ndi mma de enu opa ru ru ka nko wa lege uru de na aja na atu ni igwe eto se alobu obu ni cho di so na ya ba aja e forward one ya three prayer request make donation to code to the account number e cha ti zem na whatsapp a one god that detail sign it from you in order to book you he gave me a forward on your triple prayer request. I gave them an altar. Now I choose a jana go for this city. Everyone will know all over the globe. He gave me keys to the area. I was saying, I gave me a chair. I told you, I did a teacher. I can tell you, it has helped a lot of people. I need to help you. I'm going to show this to you. He gave me a send the other message. Na me the WhatsApp number zero eight one three eight two four three eight seven one. I repeat zero eight one three eight two four three eight seven one. 
send the message to that number. If you are not on WhatsApp, you can call. You can join this monthly ritual anywhere you are under the sun. Distance is not a barrier in all our spiritual work. <clears throat> so what am I saying? Send the WhatsApp number so that you will be booked. If you want to visit the temple for prayers, chat the same number. Or look, if you are watching from our TV channel, Ezioku TV, look on that our screen. You will see our address in Orifika and Amber State. Now, I am going to say that 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 I am that the first people to enter our land, the eastern part of Nigeria. These Portuguese, they went to our village heads, proclaiming their faith, proclaiming their faith. That their faith they are proclaiming is that, that their faith, the faith they are proclaiming is that, um, that the fact they are proclaiming is that they are they are the disciples and apostles of Jesus, and they, our forefathers did not welcome the idea by telling them that we have God, that we worship God Almighty, even before they they came, so they didn't succeed. Yes, Makana before Hamabia, Ndibo Nefebuchuku. Anye ma rubu chuku. Anye ibo. Anye ma ihe ni ine basalu chuku oki ke ke pore imi ihe ni ine. Anye na aba kuye na afa. Awe efe elwo. Now they went back. And replan. They came now using the British people. The front runner is called Ajay Crowder. In the from the Anglican Communion, that time they are not answering that Anglican Communion. What they answer that time is Church Missionary Society called CMS. Why the Catholic counterpart fronted someone called Shanahan? The letter made him bishop. That time, the Roman Church, what the, the name they answer is not Roman Catholic Church, no. That time, the answer, ROCM, Roman Catholic Mission. You can go and verify. So when they came, they came with another strategy. You know their strategy? They came as angel of light. The same thing with early missionaries, with the Methodists and rest of them. They came as angels of light. See what they did. Another format. The format they came with is as if they are here to help us. But deep down them, they, they have their own format and what they want to achieve. Let me warn before I go. I continue. Religion, CRK, has nothing to do with development of mankind. Religion, CRK, has nothing to do with development of a nation. I can tell you, the Chinese of this world, the Indians of this world, the Japanese of this world, name them. They don't study CRK in their school curriculum. In fact, studying curriculum, uh, uh, CRK does not have anything to do with school curriculum. Yes, these are formats to keep enslaving our people by imposing their belief to promote their song and by so doing making us to feel inferior recognizing our own the gods of our land and uh, respecting our ancestors that's what they did the aim is to take away that our high moral values is a systematic plan 
My message today is to call Africa to be awake. Let that bandage fall for us to for us to understand what is really happening. A systematic move. Before then, what actually happening in the world is that there was so much agitation in the world for this uh, uh, the Europeans because what they did is that they shared African soil among themselves. You understand? The Portuguese, the Netherlands, the Germans, the French, the English people, the Americans, they shared our land, they share African country. I say, is their birthright? Yes, until today, they keep making sure that their, their aim and wish is what is happening in Africa. I'm calling on all Africans to wake up. Had they been we are united, we should have been demanding restitution now because of all the atrocities committed against the African soil. Don't rush, I'm coming. What actually happened is that there was so much agitation for them to leave Africa. Let me tell you, example, example, give you an example. There is a, a country called Ethiopia. Ethiopia has been in existence. Even remember the time of Jesus in the Bible. They mentioned about the Ethiopian Enoch. I know you have heard about it. To show that Ethiopia has been existing. Even when Jesus was in Capernaum. I can tell you, Egypt and the African nations have been in existence. Don't forget that civilization started in Africa. And they when Jesus Pharaoh was looking after the, those uh, those uh, newborn babies to kill, this Herod, Mary, mother of Jesus and Joseph, according to that allegorical story, ran to Africa for safety. He grew and schooled in Africa. When he went back to the synagogue, was talking with wisdom and his people was like wow how come how come he got all this wisdom is uh, is he not Jesus son of just Joseph we are we look at his mothers and children brothers and sisters are here with us Africa I can tell you that those great mind the Aristotle of this world schooled in Africa but like Oibus, they normally like to promote theirs they took away every knowledge they took from uh, Africa. They are resourced. Take, they took it to to uh, to their place, Athens, Greece. They were talking, telling you about the Aristotle, the the about the Plato, and Aristotle teach all of them. So all these things, all great philosophers, test their schooling is in Africa. I don't want to tell you that the first university was built in Africa. Yes. Another day I will give you the name and the country. Now, what I want to tell you today is that this. When these people came, and I want to tell you again, the people that are celebrating the, the missionaries, that are the ones that brought uh, civilization to us, who told you? Because you are saying this because you are brainwashed. Let me give you an example. I don't want to go far. There's a country called Ethiopia. Ethiopia was never colonized by any white country. Go and verify and Ethiopia is ahead of our place today. In the airline, in the aviation, and the president. Yes, I have tried to travel outside the country many a times with, with Ethiopia airline. So I can tell you, I know what I'm talking about. Yes, I have been to Addis Ababa. I can tell you the country is doing well. They are not colonized. They should have allowed us to grow with our own pace. Look at both Asian countries, the Japan and the other countries that are doing well. Those countries are moving with their own press. They never allow these people to continue, continue to ruin, ruin them and by therefore exploiting them. What they did, there was this um, acrimony and agitation for them to leave Africa. See what they did. When they want to leave, they brought their brothers, them of missionaries, missionaries to remain. So therefore, they will keep on taking our offering and rest of them to their country of origin 
and by so doing developing their own country. So if you are seeing them as the, the Messiah, stop for today. So what I'm telling you is that what really happened is that these people came with the mindset to make Africa thrive. Let me tell you what happened. When they, they came, this missionary, they came with their businessmen counterparts. This left thread. They are missionaries. Yes, those Reverend Father, those self acclaimed modern people, they did not say it in open and condemn slave trade because their brothers are involved in slave trade. If you ever study what really happened, the way they treated our people as slaves, you shed tears. So have you heard about John Hopson, Hopkins, the, the, the founder of Liverpool? He came to this country with his boat, with boat everything Jesus saves, while packing all the slave trades. And the, he made a good amount of money in that business to the extent that even the queen embraced him and gave him honor and their partner in business. This slave trade continued and they was never on record that these missionaries criticize their brother. They never did because they are partners in crime. And the, 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 those, their business counterparts was the ones sponsoring their trips to Africans, African nations. Because those missionaries we moved to the hinterland and they, while normalizing the area, those businessmen will come in. Now, and so on and so forth. I don't want to start telling you how those when slave trade start stop, how those people started using that money to to invest in our oil well the business. I don't want to go there. But what I want to tell you that they they treated our people like slaves, which we're supposed to be demanding for restitution Africans. Now, for to cover their crime, they now started bringing religion use the region to water our mind. To be telling us that our reward is in heaven, but their only reward is in on earth. I mean, that's what they did. So those missionaries, if I, I open your eyes for you to see what they did, what they did now is, since the fact that they cannot preach that time, using the name of Jesus to penetrate our villages, they came. Watch those ancient old schools belongs to them. What they did, they came with another format. They started building schools in various communities. After building schools, they started building hospitals. The format is this. They went to the villages. They went to the villages. They're telling our obese, our elders, please, Send their children to school so that they will learn how to read and how to write. It sounds good, right? It's a strategy and format. Our father, fathers, with your open mind, they send their children to learn, understand how to read and write, including my father. Because that time my father um, graduated as uh, standard six. That time, standard six, what would I call it now, is the equivalent to higher education. Because standard six is what they are using, standard one, standard two, before they now turn it to elementary, as maybe 50s or 60s. But those old days is standard. So what I'm telling you now, if you now send your child to go and learn how to read and write, they will start to remind, set that your child. You know what they will do? My father told me this. That time they don't have all these priests and parishes very close. Maybe in the whole Newi local government, they will have only one priest. Yes, in the whole Newi local government, as a whole, comprising maybe like seven towns. Then what they will have in every town is catkist. Yes, catkist. Now, what the catechist is the one that is teaching 
both to the region and the the academic of it. So what the catechist will be doing is that they call you, if I you, okay, okay, call you by your name. Why, why is it that they not come to church service? Now, for the fact that they not come for uh, church service, believe in me, by Monday they will give you punishment. Either to go and start cutting the grass or whatever. And in order to avoid that punishment by Monday, for not coming, they had catechist uh, teaching on Sunday. To avoid it, on Sunday you come. Once you come to school, what they will be teaching you is this. That CRK, that Jesus is Lord, that uh, what your fathers you are doing are idol worship. They will remind you to the extent that you will be looking at your father as an idol worship. Even if your father, that is why some of the families are suffering today. Even your father is calling you, uh, if I come, let's perform our yearly ritual bestowed on us by our ancestors for the peace and harmony with all the entities of powers and for the progress and betterment of this family. If I will say, Daddy, I'm not interested, Papa, I'm not interested, that our teacher says is idol worship. And if finally we walk away from the father's presence, that there are the people that corrupted our fathers then. Because in Igbo land, we have high moral value that no child will disobey his father openly. Yes, you recognize the fact that your father is like your Lord. The way Sarah, do call Abraham my Lord. That is how we pray in African culture. There are the people that tell our people that you can disobey your father. Uh -huh. Especially when the father is sending you to go and do evil. Who told you that is evil? They hide that in the, under the umbrella that you cannot do, that if, if you disobey your father, where your father send you to do evil, that is not safe. Then what are they referring when they are saying that if your father send you to do evil? They are referring that if your father call you to come and do you young festival that is idol worship. So by so did they corrupted the minds of our people. So what am I saying? These people, if you want to trace, they will tap root the root of disobedience among today's youth against their parents. Hold this and the people, those white people, those missionaries accountable. They corrupted our people. They brought disobedience to our parents. Now, you see what they did? They are not here for good. That's exactly what they did. After that particular incident, so my father, people, my own father told me, because his own father, who happens to be my grandfather, was a highly respected person in my community. He's an also title holder. And he also is a herbalist. So before the man passed on, my grandfather passed on, he called my father, who happens to always be closer to him. Go and watch this, uh, my movie, True Life Story, called Rejected Staff. When he was passing on, he handed over the family of four, the family legacy, the symbol of authority of the entire uh, covenant of the family to my father, my late father. And my first late father, because he was a trained and a graduate of, um, uh, what are they calling it, Sandadzis. Then he was trained by those Ndikuzuka, uh, the Katkis people. His mind was spoiled against the tradition. What my father did, my father used his hand to throw that family of war into the bush. He told me this story himself. Because I was, I was uh, initial time in life, I made more, I started making money when I was still on at my 22 years. I have already have a registered Nigeria Limited company called Polanton Integrated Limited. Very early, as before 22 years. Yes, I own a water drilling company with drilling rig. If you know what drilling rig means, I happen to be the youngest guy that have a drilling rig. I was doing marvelously well. 
But at this day, sometimes we start having issues. You know, a place of work, either broken pipe, and sometimes either pipe stock, you know, all these things. I began to ask questions. What is really happening? One morning, I came to my father and asked daddy, why is it that whenever, if I make money, you no, know, after some time, I have start having issues with my work, and that those money I save will go down the drain. I will start all over again. What is the cause of this up and down? He sat me down in front of our house and told him, my son, that he is already that he is told that he have already gone deep into this uh, Christian religion, but he doesn't understand actually what is really happening. That he committed this one thing that he said disturbing his mind up to this his age. Then when he was telling me all this, is I did not see it as a crime. Bro. Yes, you know why? That time, Mary, the Mary, uh, the church people have already <laughs> stole away my conscience. So, to the extent that I cannot reason right then, because I'm a preacher of the so-called gospel of Jesus then. So when he told me this, I didn't see anything bad though. Yes. So he told me that his father gave him a for at his for a sick bed. That he told that family of but later he told me that this thing happened when he's still young. He have not yet married my mother. So when he at the stage, when he married my mother, but at the stage he wanted that ah one day he now have this urge that this offer he threw might cause problem in the future. He went to that uh, forest where he threw that offer. Only to find out that the owners of that forest have set that forest ablaze. So the offer has burnt, the family of offer has burnt. So when he told me this, I didn't see anything wrong. You know, that time I said, preacher of the uh, 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 word of Jesus. So uh, many years after, my father um, later passed on. And the, when the mantra of leadership of the family fell to me, because I happened to be the first son of my father. So one day, and as I began to notice this up and down, continue. Yes, but my, my, great, my grandfather was very rich. Yes, during that time, you know, that time, taking also title holder is not for the poor. So, and uh, I remember some people used to borrow money from him. Yes, I remember some families collected their land back. You know, that those days, they don't sell land. He said, if somebody borrow money from you, give you land. When he pays up, he collects his land back. So my grandfather borrowed money to so many people to, to show that he was a rich man of olden days. So what is happening in the family that our family is now kind of mockery. People are looking down on us because of poverty. So the only means that he's standing is just rise and fall, rise and fall, rise and fall. So that's the first time I visited to consult Alpha. Because I was I consulted Alpha. Alpha said that there is this family, there is this family of home that must be restored. They now asked me about the family of I said, I didn't know. I now remember the story my father told me about that family of home. I said, yes, yes, my father told me a story of that. They now, after checking, they now find out that the family of home, they now find out that. The family of four is responsible that I must go and replace it. In fact, that family of four is the first of four I restored in my family. I restored that family of four. When I restored that family of four, things began to change for good. The rest is history. But what I'm telling you is that for you to see what the Okanyan, the white man religion, cost my family. But glory be to the gods that I have restored the offer. And immediately I restored the offer, everything concerning the family is being restored. Again, let me tell you what happened. These people, when they now teach our forefathers to disobey their own parents, that is not sin. So if you want to know people that introduce and encourage children to disobey their parents, hold those missionaries responsible. Yes. Again, another format they came with. They build hospitals. Going to the villages, to the village head, village peers, telling our elders, our fathers then, to come to the hospital to receive medicine for their waist pain, knee pain, and rest of them. 
So we sound as angels of light through. Yes. So our fathers now saw them as people that came with good intention. So our fathers, our fathers saw them as people that came with good intentions without knowing that they have ulterior motives. So when our fathers accepted them, so they, for the fact that they built those hospitals, our fathers began to visit those hospitals for medications. For the fact that they again they represent themselves as angels of light, our fathers willingly gave them massive blood. That's why those Kalis and the Anglicans, you have massive blood. Go to St. John's Abel, Newy. You will understand what I'm telling you. They have massive lands, plus of land. Our fathers were like, they have open mind. Without knowing that these people are here to make us dry. That time they have group they call characters. Those characters are normally bring this or cracker. You know? Uh -huh. All those old used clothes. There are people used. They don't need to bring it here. In order to whip our people over. Now, after winning our people over, now our people are contributing money they used to take back to their various country to make their country better. Yes, those early missionaries that are here when our people have been oppressed. They will never say anything. Even till today. Even till today. Yes, even till today. Those world leaders cannot even talk when our people are being oppressed. So what am I saying in essence? What I'm saying in essence is this, that these missionaries, their intention is to dismantle our spirituality. Because our spirituality has nothing to do with progress or development. Look at the Chinese. They held and the Indians, they held their religion and the morals to high esteem. The same are the people that colonized us, colonized the, the Indians, but they dare not touch their, their, their belief and their high moral values. I've said in India, so I understand what I'm telling you. But the same people, they came and, and made our people to forget about history. Today they came and they, they took away our what we're supposed to be studying in school is not CRK that doesn't consign us. What we should have been studying in our school curriculum it should be our culture and why you should not go against the custom of your people. Those good morals. Yes, and you know that the world we are living today, that cousin, yes, cousin, nephew, Huh? They used to sleep with each other now. That's what is happening now. Instead of for you to start it, to start on time for those kids that get in Northern Primary School to tell them that look, you dare not sleep with your blood relative. It's a taboo. All those high moral value they're supposed to be which which happen to be our culture is what they're supposed to have been teaching our young coming people in order to mold our children's moral value to highest but instead they are talking about another man's religion that doesn't have anything with us they use it to bastardize our high moral spiritual value which is evil spirituality now the message they sent to ephesus yes in france the message they sent to um, Corinthian and Turkey. The those message they sent to those is, has nothing to do with we Africans. Later they are, see, later they are writing for themselves because they are, they are, they are, they are Jesus, they are chief, came for the purpose of their people. His coming is not for our people. His coming his coming is not for our people. His coming is not for our people. He came for his people. That is why he never set his foot 
on African soil. That is why even his 12 disciples, yes, even his 12 apostles, he did not count anyone from Africa, from Africa worthy to be a monk. It's not that Africa have, uh, does not exist, or Africa don't have developed cities. He did not call anyone, any of them. Even 72 disciples, none of them is from Africa. So you can see, even the messages they wrote, like the, the one the Paul wrote to Romans. You know who is Romans? The Italian people, the, 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 the Europe. Those letters were never written to Africa. Tell me any letter was, that was addressed to Africa. And now, they now carry it over, it over our head. Those messages are not meant for us. He came for his people. I'm not disputing that he's not a messiah. He's a messiah. He's a rabbi. But what I'm contesting is that he's not God. He's messiah to his people. He came for the well-being of his people. Likewise, we Africans. God, in his infinite mercy, do send our messiahs, our prophets, our king, our great people, our mystic to our own, for our own benefit. So, but now, we abandon our own tent and be celebrating the white man people. Do you know the insults they brought to our religion? They ask you to disobey your parents while celebrating theirs. November 1, they call it feast of all saints. They will be calling all their own, the ancestors and celebrating them. But we, they now ask us not to celebrate our own ancestors. I was born and raised up in the Catholic faith, so I can tell you for fact what I know. I was once a member of St. Jude Society, St. Jude of, St. Jude of Tarsus. I was once a member of Purgatorian Society. I was once a member of St. Anthony of Padua, who happened to be, I don't, I don't really define him as my patron saint because my confirmation name is Anthony. Now, I was a member of Confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. I was a member of Catholic Charismatic. I was a member of Bible Society. I was a member of Religion of Mary. I was a member of Brock Rosary. I was, I was lastly, I was a member of MMP. My name is Beto Priest. But I was a member of uh, uh, Daughters of Mary. All these societies is what in the Catholic faith is what I was once a member in different times. Yes. So I can tell you for fact, I understood everything about the, the Catholic faith. Now, what happened is that there's a group called Purgatorian Society. Go to your parish and investigate, go and verify. They normally we are popular. They we are told that a soul in the purgatory has ability to intercede and pray for betterment of all our lives. Now, since they believe that a spirit that is not yet in paradise, maybe is in limbo, can intercede and pray for your betterment, and now they are telling you that your father, your late father, your great grandfather cannot intercede for you. They are demons. The more they read again. Yes, they took your mind away from your ancestral powers and your ancestral links from your mother's side and your father's side. How come on earth somebody can tell you from your mother's side, down, 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 from your down root, eh? and your father's side, down, 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 down? None of them live worthy life, worthy of celebration, right? You believe. Now, even you, yes, that is trying your best for your family. If you pass on, nobody will celebrate you. You know why? You do not teach your children the importance of celebrating the departed souls. But though you both, they will celebrate theirs and engage you to join them to celebrate theirs. On November 1, they will be singing Maria Goratio or Apunobis, Saint Antonio Padua or Apunobis. You'll be singing, praising their own forefathers. November 2, they call it Feast of All Souls. They will be going to bury their ground to pray for the departed souls. You understand? But they never assure you that they can actually go to your father's grave and pray. It's, demon it's demonized. 
What I'm telling you, wake up. Let that bandage fall your eyes. I can tell you, they don't joke with their own forefathers. They were bragging. We are children of Abraham. They were bragging, calling upon the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When was the last time we called your own God? Your own ancestors. They have taken away your mind. How will you feel? Yes, I'm talking to you. In the next hundred years, me and you that are living in the world of living today, we join our ancestors in the next hundred years. Yes, in that in the next hundred years, and you, you have suffered so much for the well-being of your family. How will you feel in the grave where you are, in the world of the spirit? You are there, and your great-grand-grandson came to the world of spirit. And he was there celebrating Anthony of Padua, St. Paul of Tarsus, St. Jude of Tedus, St. Jude of Tedus, celebrating Padre Pio, John Paul II, celebrate all their people, and they ignore you. And this is their grand grandchildren. You labored so much for their betterment. How will you feel? Wouldn't you feel disappointed in this year, grandson? Wouldn't you? That is how your grandfather, your great grandfather, your great grand grandfather, is through shameful with your attitude. The way you have now ignored them and the celebrated St. Paul of Tarsus. Your great grandfather is not happy with you. You know why? Because of his effort for their for your own betterment. Yes, he's being ignored. And I can tell you, for the fact that he did not tell your children the importance of celebrating their elders. When you pass on, nobody will celebrate you. So begin today. Have a special day you will set aside. Be there to celebrate your ancestors. I can tell you. Be here and see that go in your career. Nobody out there will love you more than your bloodline. Nobody. So when you are celebrating the, the white people, the Anyares, and you forget your own black people that have something in common with you, bloodline. I'm rounding up. What am I saying? Africans, wake up. Let us wake up and do the needful by recognizing our forefathers. By so doing, it shall be well with us. If you have any question in this today's teaching, or you want us to do consultation for you, send message to me on WhatsApp 0813-8243-871. I repeat, 0813-8243-871. In the name of the Most High, the Creator of the whole universe, I pray for the benefit of friends of the temple, children of the temple, and viewers all over the world. Let the blessings of the Most High, let the blessings for the Creator of the whole universe be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Like I say, see you tomorrow. No God one kiss you. Darling. And my viewers all over the world, there was a problem to me. When I'm going to go number, only you're going to number only the man when I want to come 0805 78 37 672. Yeah, guys, yeah.